Greetings, YouTubers, and this week is going to be Wonder Woman, starring Gal Gadot, Chris Pine, with, with Robin Wright and Connie Nielsen. Overall, it's a, I would say, this is the film that saved the DC Extended Universe. I mean... I mean, like, completely from scratch and all, too. I mean, which, although I'm usually not big on, on always starting with origin stories, but that's usually for, like, more mainstream superheroes like Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, because we all know, we all know Superman goes to Smallville. Batman's parents was killed. Spider-Man's Uncle Ben was killed. And the, the mob killed Punisher's family and all when it comes to origin stories. But this one, kind of the exception to a rule. But like with with Captain America and and his his deal, which I've already did a video on that. But feel free to look it up. But back to, back to Wonder Woman. I gotta say, it's an excellent take. Take on it. And, and Gal Gadot was a perfect actress to play her. I mean. I mean. I mean, she is Wonder Woman. Why are you... And, to, and talk about badass, badass too. When it goes from trick from her days on from days on fair scared being trained to be a warrior princess and and uh, yeah, I mean of course due to, due to the reluctance of of Queen Hippolyta, uh, pronounced right her mom. I mean, just from childhood till till adulthood until when Steve Trevor lands on Femiscare. And, of course, he got... Hold on, talk about it. Some epic scenes of... When that was come around, when the whole... When the, when the Germans tried to invade and... I mean, with their, with their rifles and all and... And the, the, Fem the Amazonians and their bows and arrows and swords and all... And I'll whoop, I'll whoop them to good, and and it's an excellent take for it to be for it to be World War One instead of World War Two, like the comics and and almost every other adaptation that about. Uh, uh, that link to the origin of Steve Trevor and in DC verse and all, um, and and a good job of Chris Pine, uh, kind of like a one up of of the star, another one up of the star studded cast that Martin that the MCU has, one the DC he's pretty much was lucky to get, along with Gad Godot herself. And oh, like some story of how she is on the trail of Ares, <laughs> much to the chagrin of how this Trevor, who is at first thinks she's crazy and all, which, which for outsiders in that universe, that could be a. At least understandable. Talk about but some ooh, excellent, excellent flawless movie. Although I should, as a comic wise, 
well, it makes opportunity a, a missed opportunity to at least acknowledge Enemy Ace, which in the DC universe is Red Baron, Hans von Hammer, aka the Hammer of Hell, or or an attempt to do Sergeant Rock, even though even though there was a guy named the Chief who was loosely based on on Sure Shot, who was in Sergeant Rock's battalion. Uh, Italian. Well, and close is gonna get get to it. Although I'd say the chief in there was a lot more positive take, depending on how the PC police would approve. And boy, but one of more badass side characters too. It was. With his, I mean, just whooping on a Winchester, you know, you know, you have no movie logic on all these, you know, like an actual military role back then of how only officers didn't have to carry non non regulate re, regulation guns. Kind of like how Chief had a Winchester while the sniper guy, brain farting on his name, but. And an ultimate twist on guy playing Aries. Everybody thought he was going to be a German or something, like Ludendorff or something. and Or Dr. Poison. Oof. But overall, and how she's learned as that she's the god killer, not the sword she carried throughout the movie. Although, that was that excellent of although it did have some excellent fight scenes out of it I mean you did have have her go from no man's land land and all and and of course you had had to, to infiltrate that, that man, mansion party Man, that was a, some epic fight scenes in that, action scenes in that. And of course, with the death of Trevor, who we all know is going to appear in the 1984. Kind of theory, time, time warp or something. To where, to where it starts off in the beginning of the movie, where it's like present day and Bruce Wayne sends her off. Since there's this picture of Laurel's picture of, of her, her, Steve Trevor, and and the and the, and the spies and all, which were kind of like the, the black ops of the day. Although another opportunity, missed opportunity to introduce the Black Hawks. Hawks were like a fighter pilot team in the DC universe. Although comic wise and Justice League cartoon ep three part episode Savage Time depicted them as World War II, but hey, want to talk about comic inaccurate inaccurate reimaginings? That's the exception to a rule in a in in a comic comic fan and movie buffs love hate relationship with it with reimaginings and how Patty Jenkins was an excellent director of that film. I mean. They let her. They should have just let her take over the whole DC universe, universe altogether. Because this film saved the DC EU from the mediocre f takes on critical. I'm talking about the actual paid critics, a lot mainstream critics, not not my, not just amateur people like yours truly. And of course, the whole. I mean, I mean, talk about epic of you know the events of World War One and all. Great film for comic, comic, comic book fans and war and war movie buffs and all, all together. Cause all together, I mean, I mean. Much as I would have liked to just 
seen that as well as a Linda Carter cameo, but overall, Wonder Woman gets a 5 out of 5. Five out of five. Enjoy.